Welcome back to another video here on Lightroom 101. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export your photo from Lightroom with a watermark. Um, if you missed on how to create a watermark, um, here's, here's a link for you where you can go back. Um, it's also in the description and you can go back and watch how to create a watermark so that way we can add it when we export it. So now that we've spent so much time editing our photo and taking our photo and creating a watermark, now it is time to export it so that we can share it with the world or just export it and keep it on our computer. Um, that's 100% up to you. However, here is the process. So in the develop tab, we have two options down here, copy and paste. We don't want either of those. So what we wanna do is go over to our library tab and now all of a sudden we don't want to import, but we want to export. So we click on export and all of these options pop up and we're just like, holy smokes, that's a lot. Well, we don't want video. We don't want file settings. We don't want image sizing. We don't want output. We don't want metadata. So what we want is we do want watermarking and we do want export location and file naming. Okay. So first the export lo location, um, I'm going to put it on my desktop and I wanna put it in a subfolder, um, but let's name our subfolder. So on my desktop, I already have blurry background. And so I'm gonna call this one blurry background edited with watermark. Oh, blurry background edited. All right, so I can't have all right, so it, it replaced um, my backslash for me. Um, so that's what it's gonna go. It's gonna go in a subfolder and then we're gonna rename it to a custom name. Um, we can go ahead and just do the file name. We can do all kinds of different options here. So let's give it a custom name. So we're gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it blurry background. Let's keep it, keep it consistent. Um, all right, perfect. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to watermarking. And this is where we click watermark, but we didn't actually select a watermark. We just said, yes, we want the option of watermarking. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on the one that we just created, Scotty Renner, bottom right hand corner, and it's going to be white. So I select that and I go back and I double check. All right, desktop, subfolder, blurry background, edited with a watermark, custom name. Text is blurry background, and I will click export. Yeah, nothing happened. Well, up in the top left corner here, it showed exporting. And now there's this folder that pops up that says blurry background. So let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go to our desktop and look, there's this new folder right here. It's called blurry background edited with watermark. So if I double click on that, um, it'll show here, and if I hit spacebar, we will see that photo that I exported, and there it is with my watermark. Okay. Um, an important thing to note about this inside of Lightroom is whatever I have highlighted down here, whatever I have selected, this is what is being exported. So notice in my export folder that only this photo showed up. So if I hit spacebar, just this one photo but I have a whole bunch of photos down here. So if I select, click on one, hold down shift, select those other, hold down command, click a different one, holding down command skips them. Um, I will now export these four. So we'll go through the same process, export, but look, a lot of this stayed. So it's still gonna go into the same folder, um, same custom name, and let's go down, look at that. So it remembered what I was exporting with. So if you ever switch projects or you want to switch folders, make sure that you change where it's going and you double check the location and the file name. So I'm going to go ahead and click export. And you can see right here in the top left corner is showing exporting four files, one, two, three, and four. And here are my photos. So if we go ahead and hit spacebar, there it is, bottom right hand corner. There's my logo, my watermark and it's gone on all of them. Okay, that is how we export um, our edited photos with our watermark. 
And that's how you rename them as well.